Welcome back to Mycopolis game. Hello. We just lost a third of the, what, 20 minute episode? Yeah, we just lost like half the fight of the uh, thumb. Right. Well, no, we, wait, did we lose? Or did we, did you quit out? I quit oh, out. Oh, you, you restarted your computer. Yeah. So we can just read this all again. Yeah. So Very what has quickly. happened was my computer was boosting and I've never had my computer boost before. And it was processing a video so I can get stuff done in the process. It was working too hard on too many things. Yes. So I turned off the boosting and we were testing it again. So hopefully this works out. So we're just going to read these really fast. Yes. Because we, we have already seen this before. Yes. Just had a call. It looks like there's a huge fight with the index going on outside. And by fast, I mean, let's just read through the dialogue. Right. <laughs> no comments or anything. We're just going to read through it. The streets are going to well, reek of blood, eh? Right. It's not just the streets. The entire nest is awash with blood. And I made a joke last time about the streets being awash with cum. And then Boris was like, what did you say? <laughs> the hell is the Liu off association up to anyway? Poking around an abandoned nest. The index and R cover are already used keeping a swamp. Are you, are you gonna read it? I thought we said we were, were gonna read I was waiting the for the voices. Acting. Oh, I, what, I didn't say we were reading through the voice acting. Well, that's going quick, isn't it? Oh yeah, I guess we gotta read through the voice acting. Sorry! Right. Besides, there's been an awful lot of distortion sightings around here these days. All those feuds took out half my good men. Everyone seems to be looking for clues on the distortion. They must have determined that the library sitting at the center of the nest has to be closely related to that phenomenon. We appreciate these voice actors dearly, but... Well, we already experienced some, so we already appreciated them. Uh, there's 10,000 other Let's Plays out there, so if you want to hear the voice acting, either watch the replay yourself, because we already went through 20 minutes of this. Uh, and it's true that the distortion has been happening here more frequently than any other place. Uh, greeting, sir. Uh, greeting, sir. Sit down now. As you you have said, the Index, the Liu, and the R Corp are ransacking this nest. Mm -hmm. It's not just them. We've received reports that the Blue Reverberation and the Purple Tear are also present. The Blue Reverberation, the Blue Reverberation you say? The Blue Reverberation. The one who took our fabric turned out to be working for him. Hmm. I see. What do you think is attracting the Blue Reverberation his gang here? It must be the library. Several well-known individuals and groups fell victim to it, too. Whoever takes over that library is going to be the victor of the tedious battle. Mm. But whenever we try to go there ourselves, the invitation to the library just vanishes. And then I said, why would you need the invitation at that point? You're already at the library. It's as if they're refusing to let us in. That was true up until now. We tried acquiring it through our subordinates and claiming it for, from others with force, but nothing worked. Hmm. However, I directly received an invitation today. It says they have a book of the Liu Association up for grabs. <clears throat> That's the book we need the most right now. Aren't you going to read? I am going to read. I was thinking about something else. <laughs> if we can find a way to deal with the Liu Association, then we're guaranteed to win at least half of this nest. <laughs> It'll give us a chance to stifle them for sure. An underboss bringing all of his capos into the library doesn't strike me as a good idea, though. What's a messenger of the index doing here? If you say anything stupid, I'll pull out your tongue. You guys are always on edge. I'm not here to see you bleed today. And I reckon you aren't here to throw cheap jabs at us either. Soto Capo Calo, may I speak to you for a moment? I appreciate the index for upholding basic manners. Go on ahead. <laughs> this is my this is just my opinion, but I don't think you should go. You're most likely to turn to a book there. If the underboss managing this area ends up disappearing, it's only a matter of time until the index seizes its place. And just think about it, if the index happens to get your book at the library, not only will the thumb have a harder time trying to break the index, it'll also put the entire syndicate as a huge disadvantage, would you agree? Well, this is a rare occasion of messenger stating their opinion instead of delivering prescripts. Hmm. I only have patience to acknowledge the prescripts of the index, not the personal ramblings of the mere messenger. Tell us else of the index remaining in Elcorp's territory this. Once we've sort sorted out this matter, we shall put, pull out their teeth and tongues and feed them to the hounds as punishment for insulting the thumb. 
Although you won't be alive to relay the message with your own mouth. So I had to go this way. When one dares irritate their superior, take the cup. Hmm. Do you think the uh, invitations are papery or glossy? What? Like, what do you think they feel like? Because obviously they're fancy paper, yeah? Probably very thick cardstock. Hmm. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Um, they execute anyone who ruffles their feathers every, even so slightly. They don't care who the, the offender may be. Hmm. So, <coughs> oh yeah, one other thing I was saying is that Dennis character reminds me of some other character, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I'm sure there's like 10 million characters of that archetype. But there was a specific one that I just cannot think of. Right. So, if you know a character that is similar to that Dennis character, like the short, long hair kind of, uh, uh, don't disrespect the superiors uh, type character, let me know. It probably won't be the one I'm thinking of, but it might help. Um, and remembering what I heard the last time, the echelon appeared to matter as well. Did I read the last line? I don't remember. Or did you just go <coughs> forward without me checking? I thought you did. Should I read it again? Nah, that's fine. Are you sure? Yep, people can read. All right, go forward. That's right. You have to be courteous to people whose position is higher than yours. Hmm. You can't casually mention their name or speak before they do. You need permission for every little thing. Well, there are exceptions, strictly speaking. A high-class person can theoretically lend the authority of their position to someone else, but it's a rare case. Generally speaking, a grade one is one on the same position as a capo in their hierarchy. You can't even make eye contact with a person whose class is higher than you. Neither of those fingers are right in the head, I gotta say. I don't know about that. I actually like the straightforwardness of it. Anyone sustained heavy injuries, we don't need dead weight getting in our way. I'm unharmed, sire. It wasn't easy, though. The index is a bothersome bunch. Even just a messenger can be a pain in the ass to deal with. Those who don't respect their superiors need to be taught a lesson in manners. Oh, Metal Gear. Are you going to be alright, sire? The words of that messenger had a point. It may have been safer and beneficial for the thumb if you stayed in the base. Shouldn't you be worrying about your own safety first? <laughs> Greetings, dear guests. <laughs> I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. <laughs> that's intriguing. I heard that the director of this place was a machine, but I suppose that's not entirely true. It's rather irritating to hear you go on about whether I'm a machine or not right in front of my face, you know. The ruling figure of a star of the city stands at a higher echelon than a Soto Capo such as myself. You ought to pay her due respect, Catriel. Mm. That was impolite of me. I'll pay my price now. Dennis, please cut off my tongue. Okay. Catriel may not be flawless, but I appreciate how she's quick to reflect on her mistakes. Please forgive our rudeness with this, madam. <sighs> he was right about you all being sick in the head. And then I made a, a joke here about her uh, talking like Beatrice from ReZero, but I'm not going to reenact the voice that I made, so I'll just say it. Uh, may you find your book here, I suppose. <clears throat> Okay, let's just... And then I thought it was interesting how we're fighting Dennis here and not the other two. Well, there's three acts. There is three, but you'd think it would be four of the regular dudes. I, and then it, then I wonder if Dennis. the next one's going to be Catriel and then it's going to be Boris and Kahlo. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, probably. Let's start this shit, shall we? Nope. We're quitting. Oh. We're uh, stopping our channel, dead in its tracks, and never attempting anything like this again. I, what do you say about that, Michael? <laughs> no, half the time I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, so... You're like, you know what, pal? I agree! Block, block, not blocked. Cock blocked. 
This might actually be useful here. You're doing pretty- you- you took this round, uh, oh, excuse me, I gotta yawn. <sighs> you blasted through this round, no problem, so... I don't see any difficulties in our near future. Yeah, neither do I. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. You know, technically, considering the fact that mimicry is like practically magical, it should just like cut right through their guns. <laughs> I love how everyone's they, targeting Gebra right now. They shouldn't really be even able to block it. You know what? I agree. Wow, the first time you've ever agreed with me ever. Yeah, this rare sight. <laughs> what was that fucking noise you just made? Uh huh. <laughs> Revert to monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? I am caveman. <laughs> <laughs> monkey. Monkey. The fuck are we doing? <laughs> I, we're reverting the monkey, man. <laughs> what the fuck do you think we're doing? Uh, this has been a shit show all night. Who needs complicated issues when you can just have neuron activation? Boom, bitch. Boom. You did boom on that bitch. Oops. Sorry. I mean, you need to apologize. That was great. You did it, in fact. Instincts. You okay? <laughs> and if you're just gonna sacrifice everyone to Gebra, don't you think it would make sense to use the one that would make people she targets uh, have more strength against? Or... She'd have more strength against them. It only affects one person. That's the issue. So I'd rather have them. I give. I give all the things to Gebra anyways. So Correct. it makes more sense to me to um, provide, um, per se, more energy towards her killing people, because then she heals. Mm. I guess that makes sense. Oops! I was not paying attention there. That is a problem. <laughs> There we go. Because then now I'll do it. Oh, okay. But what about the other ones? What do you mean? Like, what are the other choices? Um... A lot of them were not well good. Ch they weren't good choices per se. Just like uh, having you as a friend. Damn, dude. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. What's this shot. Oh, that won't be a bad one. So instead, we're gonna be a psychopath here, <laughs> and hopefully this works out to my favor. It might. Either these. Oh, this one's using a gun card. Fuck. <clears throat> Staggered. Let's go. Great. Should have blocked her, but I thought I was gonna go. I expected right. something to go something go somewhere else with that. Well, it would have been better if you if she didn't get shot five times that one round. Right. That's also absolutely correct. That is one hundred percent correct. Probably wouldn't have died there. Is your sister there? No, it's. 
Well, uh, their bedroom is like right against the wall where my PC is. So if you can hear them, that's probably why. Okay. This means I can fucking blow their brains out with that. With a capitalism beam! <clears throat> Capitalism beam on you! Oh damn it, the capitalism beam did not work. The capitalism beam failed! Retreat! That worked though! Oh, he's fucking dead. Oh, he's not dead, but... You fucked them up. Fuck. Does that just make a lightsaber noise? Yes. Huh. Then you use absorption. And of then. Sorry about that. Yep, just a little bit of a hurry. Damn. This fucking music, though. It's great. I'm not gonna use any of the, um... The Manifest Ego right now, because I feel like it's a waste of time. Oh, of course. I mean, you're about to kill the last dude in this round. <clears throat> Done. Good job. Good job, Michael. You did it. Mm -hmm. No, oh, it's Boris. Boris then it's okay. That makes some sense. Shall we just continue with this group? <gasps> I don't see why not. Why not? She she's gonna heal once we sacrifice her dudes anyway. Probably one of my favorite. Just like I love using Gabra, it's so much fun. I mean, yeah, it's hype as hell. Like I know everyone's like it's a kind of a cheap way, but I just love it. It's not cheap. They're the ones that gave it to us. It's not like we're cheating the system or anything. Yeah, we, we really aren't, are we? No. Not at all. I love the lightsaber noise, by the way. The lightsaber noise. And now from here, we get to have some fun. Correct. Oh my god, discipline. Dice on this page that are pages on. No, 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 no. But whatever. It's not gonna get fucking. It's not gonna fucking survive. Okay. <laughs> I mean, still, it's important to read it. Nah. Are you sure about that? I don't know. And why didn't you read it? So I didn't think that far ahead? You can- st you still have time! Dice on this page and this page clashing with it are an unaffected by power gain or loss. This die is rolled three times for discipline. That's actually a pretty that, good card. That first one is pretty important. I would say. Oh, fuck. Just take the benefit. 
just hoping to god that Gabra um, fucking does this. Or if she does not deal 40 damage, we're kind of fucked. She definitely did. She has done it. She and sliced everybody's health in half. <laughs> and staggered literally everyone. <laughs> right, instantly. <laughs> Horse is like, shit. It's like, well, that's uh, a bit unfortunate, isn't it? <clears throat> Don't judge me too hard, guys. This is my first Let's Play. Like, yeah, it's not, but I understand what you're saying. One, two, and that's 40 damage. Good. Great. And they're dead. Great. Well, I mean, this has just been an overwhelming success. <laughs> I Damn. was not expecting to block that! Holy yeah, shit! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god. Hmm. This has been a resounding success. There she is. Yeah, absolutely. Le Regol. All allies deal plus two damage with their offensive die next scene. Are you gonna check them? Speed three, the boss's orders. At the start of the scene, give one protection to two random allies. Every third That's offensive dies. Power, starting with the fourth scene. All offensive die gains. I don't think you're going to make it to the fourth scene, buddy. Upon taking a lethal blow, reduce all incoming damage, including that passive by 25 for the scene, activated once per act. Gain plus two power for the first scene. Pierce dice power one. Mm. Why is that plus nine? Why is it nine pierce dice power plus one? Because there's more dice power that does increase that by one no matter what. Do you get what That's I mean? Like, question. What about Catriel? Again, it okay? Never nope, mind. Fuck it. I got some That's faith fine. in myself. That's fine, I guess. What are you doing right now? And Catriel just says nothing because she doesn't have a tongue. None of them say anything. Uh, that's not true. The, each of all the of them were dot dot is, dots. That's not true at all. The, for right now, those three, just now, just only the dot dot dots. But yeah, the three, because two of them. Or it said the same thing they've always said, and Catriel doesn't have a tongue. But the dude said something, and so have the past two dudes. So, what you said is literally what I said. Am I wrong? I guess. You guess I'm wrong? I guess you're, uh, dumb. I mean, that's a separate issue. We're just gonna do this. Being dumb and being wrong are two completely different things. Is it though? You can be dumb and be right. I hope you're right. I am. I I I bet literally my life on it. Why would you bet your life? Because you're wrong. I, I bet my life because I am in complete sincere belief that I am correct in this matter. Oh, he has like happened. a little—he has like a little blunderbuss. Do you see that? Yes, it was kind of dope. That's—that is dope. <laughs> well, one person's already staggered. Yep. Um. You're definitely sacrificing your dudes. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't the sacrifice card. No, it was laughter. Oh, fair enough. Did you ever get it? What? The sacrifice card? I would have taken it immediately. Oh, fair enough. What does laughter do, though? Laughter, if I take damage, like excessive forces of damage, it will um, it increase... Go to the other dudes? It will scream. Oh, I see. And I will do... um. I remember that one, yes. 
Yeah, so it's it's kind of worth it. Just to have it. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, yep. Especially for like the position I'm in, like not really many people are going to. I'm gonna say kick the bucket here. Right. Even if some people do, it's gonna be fine. You know what? I just I just thought of. Gebra should get like a, a passive that gives her like plus two to dice rolls with ego gear, considering she's literally the only person that's been stated to be able to wield multiple ego gear without problem. Yeah, you're right. Isn't that weird? I'm surprised they haven't made passives like that yet that have to do with ego gear. That'd be pretty interesting, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, it would. Uh oh. This is what? an issue. Is it? Yes. Are I'm you sure I'm about that? I'm experiencing issues right now. You're experiencing issues, like earlier when we had to restart your whole PC? No, not that kind of issues. Like, we might be <laughs> yes. fucked issues. No, I understand. I was just kidding. How so? Because Gebra cannot deal 40 damage. Right now. But then, God, we'll be fine. She's at, like, full health. Your other chumps are just fodder at this point now, anyway. Unless you get staggered, which will suck. Nope, we're fine. We're okay. <clears throat> Alright. I'm not getting the, the amount of fucking light I need to achieve anything right now. Mm -hmm. And it's starting to get a little bit stressful. Hoping that was gonna work out in a different way. Hmm. Same. But it's fine, there's literally no way we could lose this. Yeah, I gave her a staggered. That's not a problem as long as you defend her. It shouldn't be hard to defend her. No. He's got four die. Why not just use one of your ego? Uh, can't. Then? Oh, can you only do that in other form? I can use. No, I don't have light. Ah. I understand. Still, though, I think you got this. <clears throat> just gotta really pay attention to the stuff you're doing. But we also have another whole nother, uh... We do have a whole nother act. Do we? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Alright. 100% positive on that one. That's, um, that's fine. It's fine. We got him staggered. Kinda sucks. We got the big guy staggered. That's all I really kind of cared about. Oh, of course. <laughs> but your dude getting staggered sucks. Fodder. It's all fodder. Your, du your dude getting killed sucks. You know what? Tell me what. We're gonna be a-okay right now. 
ain't nothing but murdering an old guy. Tell me what? Ain't nothing but Gebera's size. There you go. Well, I think you have it in the bag now. It's gotta take that shit home. He's like, remember to be courteous in the last moment, and her death is just be like, yeah, I can't talk. <laughs> the curtain call for the reception of Thumb 2. Curtain call for the reception of the Thumb 2. The second Holy thumb. Holy shit, the books. Ah, your Two one dude got the, 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 the uh, bandages. Bandage. Callow, that is a shit ton of books. We got two books of, three books of Catriel. Two books of Boris. One book of Dennis. And two books of Callow. Damn, you'd think we got in a little more books of Dennis considering he was the least rare one. Um, the thumb was bound by their strict decrees even to death. <laughs> they shove their, they shove their thumbs up other people's asses too because they have the power to do so. <clears throat> Who's making the rules for them, I wonder? Yeah, that's, that's a tough question. I don't think anyone has the answer for that. Hell, I, mm -hmm. Hell, I bet they don't even know when those rules were established. They aren't much better than those zealous chasing prescripts in the sense. <laughs> Do you think they're dumb for following those unfair rules without even knowing why? I'd be lying if I said no, though I can understand them somewhat. It certainly seems pathetic that they're blindly obeying them without knowing the reason, even if they have complaints. However, there's little point in questioning things that have always stayed the same and had to stay the same. A lesson you learned from your previous job? I wouldn't paint it as something as nice as that. Does what I had to ingrain in my head, calling it a lesson feels inappropriate to me. It's just an oops. Sorry, Angela. It's just an observation I made. From what I've seen, people who live aimless lives think that they had no other choice. You said the same thing before, right? <clears throat> and now I got to understand it a bit better. It's not that I understand the rules of the fingers themselves. Well, of course, different individuals would see them from various perspectives and judge for themselves whether they're a good thing or a bad thing. Hmm. Anyway, the warning that Messenger of the Index gave wasn't worth nothing. I wouldn't expect you to be one to make so, such a um, colloquialized grammatical error, Angela. Uh, with one of the higher-ups gone, the thun could be an actual danger. Oh, no, she was saying it was worth something. I see. True, the thumb must be bummed to know that the, an underboss of theirs is now a book. Does that make the index the only finger remaining in El Corp's nest now? I'm not so sure about that. It's up to them to retreat or hold the fort. Not like we need to care about it. On that note, mm. we're going to end... Oh, Hakma! Hey! Oh. Great. 
Nice. Michael's favorite one that he never has forgotten about in his time in Lobotomy Corporation and had get free. He's never gotten <laughs> free. I feel like that's not true. The Burrowing Heaven has never broken free in my Lobotomy Corporation. Are you sure about 100% that? 100% positive. Mm. The spear, uh, however, from Gebra is the Red Mist thing. That is a bitch. Did uh, getting those books unlock uh, or any requirements? No. Are you sure? For Tifereth? No. I didn't. I never said for Tifereth. I said any. Callow, Book of the Thumb. No, it, for, Michael, for the fucking abnormality requirements. No. No. All right. Just talk about them. Cool. We're done with those. <laughs> Keter? Nope. Okay, so that we're going to end this episode hasn't been here. added yet. Understandable. So thank you so much for watching. We're going to do something else now. I think we're going to the far right, so. All right. So bye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Stay safe. Have a good night. Uh, don't cut off your tongues. That seems pretty self-explanatory in my opinion, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta explain things like this, or else there will be one or two people that go ahead and do it anyway. So stay safe. Bye, everyone.